Hi everybody, this is CP Readings and hi Capricorn. Now let's see what are the messages that will come up for Capricorn. Let's see, what messages do we have for Capricorn? We have Seven of Pentacles reversed that wanted to come out. Looks like you're giving up on something, we will see though. Um, in case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended Capricorn to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love, notes, guidance from spirit, and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked in the description box for you guys, as well as guidance from spirit for you. Now let's see what do we have for Capricorn. What do we have for, sorry guys, I'm trying to like, okay. What do we have for Capricorn? 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 Capricorn, um, intuitively, I'm getting a message. I'm hearing the word new. So something new is about to come up for you or your focus could be on something new. Ooh, okay. Let's see. That seven of pentacles reverse again. Fine. With the page of swords reverse. Okay. So I feel like Capricorn, you're giving up on waiting uh, here. Um, when it comes to a certain situation, I feel like you're not going to sit there and wait for the situation to unfold in a certain way anymore. You're going to take control of the situation. And I like it. Um, page of swords reverse though. See. Um, somebody here is a bit, um, it's like you dealt with somebody who would just talk, talk, talk and not do much. Okay. And I also feel like there's like this immature energy with the page of swords reverse. Um, you could be having, um, you know, trouble trusting somebody as well. Um, after something came out about them. Okay. It's like a, it's like some sort of a truth coming out about them. Nine of Cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like something in the past here made you extremely unhappy. Um, but I also feel like this has a lot to do with um, letting go of codependency. It could be about that as well. From what I see, at least. Yeah, it could be about letting go of codependency. Letting go of even attachment, if not codependency, okay? You're letting go of attachment here. Okay, let's see. We have the strength upright. So what I'm really getting for you guys is that your future energy is the death reverse. So it's like a past experience coming to light again, but we will see what this death reverse is about. It could also be um a cycle okay uh with the strength energy i see you being very strong this is leo season and this is the strength energy that is keeping you strong and it's like finding your confidence within share it yeah you're wanting to move on from something okay you could be wanting to move on because you feel like there's no like there is no purpose okay being a part of a situation that's why you're leaving it from what I see. Yeah, you could be feeling like there's no point pursuing a certain situation. Capricorn, you also feel like it's always only you who's doing the work, not another person. It's like there's lack of collaboration here. Yeah, but you're getting over it. You're getting over it. Capricorn, whoever you're dealing with, 
they're not really showing you anything, any signs, but I'm really seeing that this person is feeling lonely without you. Your overall energy for the month is going to be High Priestess, Six of Wands, and the Fool. I talked about a new beginning, and here we have the Fool card here. We also have the Ten of Wands reverse. So it's about dropping a certain situation where you may have felt like the other person was treating you unfairly. Okay. Um... There was lack of justice in a certain situation you may feel. Um, this is your intuition guiding you towards your victory, okay? This is you listening to your inner uh, voice. This is also you um, moving forward, moving forward. Six of Wands energy. This is about forward movement. I like it. We have the full card here too, so... I'm really getting that this month is going to be about victory for you guys and dropping pause burdens. If you remember, I said that, you know, in the beginning as well, that this month is going to be about um, some sort of a new start here for you. Let's clarify things. Let's clarify. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse for Capricorn. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse for Capricorn. Three of Cups upright. Maybe there was involvement of a third party in a situation. Yeah, I feel like you're letting go. And it's like with the Nine of Pentacles energy Capricorn, it's like you're relying on yourself right now. It's that self-love kind of an energy that I'm picking up on. I love myself, I cherish myself, and I'm going to do what makes me happy. I'm going to follow my intuition. I'm not going to sit there and wait for this person to act a certain way. It's like with the Nine of Pentacles energy, I see you chasing your dreams. I see you being happy. Okay. And a very independent energy. Some of you just want to be happy. Point blank, period. You want to enjoy yourself. Tell me about the Stand of Souls reverse. Hermit. I feel like you're finding your inner balance, Capricorn. It's about taking a break or maybe, you know, letting go of a certain situation to be able to find your inner balance. Okay. Yeah. It's like you're searching for answers. Six of Wands reverse. Okay, so if some of you are feeling confused about a certain situation, then you have to eliminate your ego from the situation to be able to see what this is about, okay? Tell me about the Page of Swords reverse with the Nine of Cups reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. I'm telling you, higher for an upright with the Seven of Pentacles. Look at the Seven of Pentacles here, and in your energy right now is the Seven of Pentacles reverse, and damn that bike. They have heavy bikes. Ugh. Okay, anyway. Um, I feel like Capricorn, this is somebody you dealt with who would come in and out of your life as they please. yeah this person would be in and out of your life as they please This person also has an ego issue. Why the death reverse for Capricorn? Eight of Wands. I heard lost from the past. Oh my, oh my goodness. Not a pentacles upright. Somebody I feel like is approaching you. 
but there's a very selfish energy around this. I'm getting like this energy of what is there to, to go back to. You may just feel like there's nothing to go back to, to be honest. Four of Swords, yeah, I feel like you're taking a break with the Strength and the Four of Swords energy. It's like, again, that Hermit energy. Something maybe has been very like it has almost given you a headache trying to figure it out, figure it out at all times, Capricorn. I feel like you're letting it go or you're at least taking a break. This is nice because in your um, in your challenge, here's the six of ones reverse. And in the outcome, here's the six of ones upright. So I feel like you're, you're going to get the answer that you need as well as try, you know, it, it's like you're fixing something with the six of ones upright energy. Ace of Swords reverse Capricorn. Lies. You're wanting to come out of a situation where there's no clarity or somebody here runs away from the truth as well. From what I see, strength reverse, hangman reverse. Three of Pentacles again in the reverse devil this is you i feel like you're closed off capricorn energy is closed off to somebody who's just like you feel like it's the same person just another day to be honest it's about a person or a situation in your life why the chariot i see you moving forward the lovers i feel like okay this is like a choice being made here to move forward regardless of whatever the situation seems and it's it's a very capricorn type of an energy it's also about connecting to your higher self listening to your higher self we have the emperor reverse the knight of swords reverse with the page of cups reverse this is somebody you may have dealt with um who wasn't open to you emotionally at all okay You've got the Empress Reverse and the Emperor Reverse in the reading. This is not a match. This is a mismatch. Queen of Cups Reverse. Yeah, I feel like in your emotions here, we have Nine of Swords Reverse with the Queen of Cups Reverse. You're trying to let it go. I feel like you're distancing yourself. You are. Tell me about this person's energy with the Hermit Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles Upright. Yeah, I feel like they're very detached, but they're feeling very lonely. Oof. the full energy here which is again this is amazing because that full energy is your energy too maybe this person's realizing that you're moving on from them and they're not having a good time with it it looks like there's a pattern here you know a repetitive cycle and i also feel like this person tries to show you that they don't care when they do what's up with that Tell me about the Hierophant energy here, Hangman Reverse, the Two of Wands Reverse. It's time to make a decision. It's time to make a decision. And I also feel like you are making a decision here. You are, it's like you're no longer staying in a position to, you know, where you, somebody's leaving you hanging, somebody's leaving you, you know, stringing you along and not really telling you where the situation is going. It's like getting unstuck in short. And having faith that what you're wanting to manifest will come to you. Why the Six of Pentacles though? At this time, Capricorn, I'm going to warn you of the people that are surrounding you. Somebody may try to take advantage of you money-wise. Um, so make money-related decisions very wisely with the World Reverse and the Six of Pentacles Reverse. For some of you, you're waiting on something money-related. A money related decision that you could be waiting on i also feel like there's somebody here who could be returning a past person yeah i am getting that a past person might be coming back why because it's like th this person feels like there's some unfinished business but at the same time i'm getting that one person here is clear about their choices and the other one isn't so you figure it out who this is five of swords is your advice for the month capricorn high priestess which is in your overall energy to temperance balance well high priestess and the um high priestess here so i feel like this is talking about trusting your intuition 
What is your inner voice telling you to do? Because I feel like this month, your intuition and your strong gut feeling is going to guide you. And there's something that's coming in. It's like a big victory, something that I see you overcoming and achieving. But with the Five of Swords energy, I also feel like there are games being played here around you. So just be mindful of people around you at this time, work-wise, family-wise, friends-wise, lovers-wise, whatever. Okay. I also feel like there's a need for you to be more strategic with something. It could be in regards to a business situation, maybe. Let's see, what do we have for Capricorn? Do check out the link in the description box, Capricorn. It's going to take you to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you. Their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description box. Okay, we have new love and pay attention to the red flags. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and the signs are cautioning you. Ooh, There could be a new person who may come your way, but this month you need to be very careful with your energy and with how much you're sharing with people and what is it that you're sharing because... I see a new lover coming in, but I also see a past person coming in who you're in separation with. Yeah, heart to heart conversation. Nonetheless, I feel like give your relationship a chance. Capricorn, somebody's wanting another chance with you. I'm telling you. I heard blast from the past, I told you. But I also feel like there is a new person. Your dreams need a practical plan. I told you, you need strategy for something, especially when it comes to your money. Bring love into the situation and don't let your past hold you back. Well, learning a, le learning a lesson from the past and still being open to love, not closing off to love, okay? you will get married. Ooh, so in the long run, looks like you'll get married. I see you as the one and only, and this is a soulmate connection. There is, I feel like this is your future love energy, which I will clarify this more in your extended. What is this about? Who is this person who's coming towards you? To me, this looks like this is something in the future where you're connecting with your soulmate. That's why you have keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. Maybe you need to be more open and maybe you need to maybe give somebody else a chance. You know, sometimes we all have a type. So maybe somebody who, who may not be your type is going to really, you know, be serious about you and take things forward with you the way you want. That's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for Capricorn. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and also check out the extended link below for further clarifications about this new person, past person, message from spirit, and any other question that you may have in your mind. Okay, take care, Capricorn, and bye-bye. Bye-bye.